Hey, how you doing? It's Blake here. We're talking about Shiba Inu, a token that bills itself as an alternative to Dogecoin. I'm not going to talk about the back end or the uh, highly technological aspects to it because I don't know that stuff very well. But what I can talk about is the psychology of this and what's happening in the uh, in the ecosystem uh, and if you well, what you should be considering if you are thinking about buying it or not buying it because certainly there were a lot of people who became very wealthy uh, and I'm sure some who lost a lot of money as well with the uh, the volatility we saw with Dogecoin uh, and I know that a lot of you out there are looking for the next big thing uh, and considering hey maybe this Shiba Inu token is that next big thing so a few just things that I want to get out of the way first I'm just telling you what I've observed uh, I, I only own like a million Shiba Inu tokens so I'm not like all in with all my money uh, but I do think it's very interesting uh, because it's like the 11th uh, has the 11th largest market cap it's something it's in the billions of dollars people own multiple you know double digits billions of dollars uh, of Shiba Inu which is pretty much it's pretty insane I think uh, considering it's <laughs> you know the the mirror of what was initially like a satirical cryptocurrency so what we're seeing right now uh, in the news and, and just the, you know social media in general is a lot of people talking about how Shiba Inu is moving to more platforms uh, in which retail investors can purchase them retail investors being me and you people who go on Robinhood who go on Weeble who go on public uh, and buy stocks and crypto on those apps without you know using millions of dollars or or uh, being a part of a larger institution just regular Joes and just people buying stuff you know that's what we talk about here people buying stuff uh, it's it's currently available on Weeble that's where I bought it on but uh, it's been announced to be on public which is a Robin Hood competitor uh, and people are saying well Robin Hood is gonna is going to follow course because of the very large amount of money that crypto transactions made up in relation to total revenue so if they can have a, a wider variety of products then they're gonna have more more revenue that's what people think at least so what we're seeing now is a lot of people who are speculating that uh, that that Shiba is going to follow the same path as Doge where it's below a penny for a long time I think Shiba is it? It's at yeah. It's at whatever four zeros is. That that is that a thousandth. It's in the uh, the, the the thousandths of a penny. Whereas Dogecoin was like around like a tenth of a penny to a half of a penny uh, before it shot up. So that's your our first difference right there. Uh, for for Shiba Inu to hit the levels that Dogecoin did, it would have to grow. Uh, whatever that that factor is. I don't know a factor of of of, of a hundred more. Um, again, I'm, I'm sure I'm getting the details wrong. If you're better at math than me, please, in the comments, correct me. What's the difference between uh, a number with four zeros in front of it as opposed to a number with two zeros in front of it, if we're talking about decimals? I don't know off the top of my head, but I do know that it's a much smaller number if it has four zeros as opposed to two zeros. The second difference we're not really talking about, or I'm not, because when I watch these videos on YouTube, it's hyping it up. It's saying, oh, you know, they're using a lot of, of, uh, of terminology that you see in like Reddit, like diamond hands and paper hands. And they're, they're kind of a, a very insular crowd whose sole intention is to raise the value of this, of this token as opposed to give an honest assessment of what's going on. Uh, and maybe they're more qualified than me. I don't know. I doubt it, but I don't, you know, I'm just telling you what I see. So what we're looking at then is a lot of people lost money on Dogecoin. A lot of people made money. A lot of people were on the outside uh, and th this FOMO, this fear of missing out is setting in. What we're considering now is are there more people who had FOMO than who lost money or who will hold Dogecoin in lieu of, of selling Dogecoin and, uh, and buying Shiba? So we're seeing uh, differences in the, the, the length that people hold these coins. Uh, the amount of people who are holding Doge coins is falling. The amount of people who is holding Shiba Inu coins is rising. It's very easy to say that, oh, the people are selling Doge, buying Shiba. That's not, we don't know that for a fact, but that's just a very simple way of interpreting uh, those two specific data points. So when you mix all these things together, you, are, uh, you get a very volatile um, final product one in which there's a whole mass of people 
who are going to be uh, introduced to the opportunity to buy this new token either on public or on Robinhood. It's cur only currently on, I mean, the way I, I'm sure it's currently in a lot of places, but where I've, I've bought it is Weeble, and then I've seen it on Coinbase as well. So we've got those, those platforms selling it. Uh, it's being introduced to a giant, you know, mo millions and millions of new in, uh, potential investors are going to see it. Are they going to buy it because they think that it's going to raise the same way that Dogecoin did? And if so, are there more people doing that than those holding Dogecoin or selling Dogecoin and going into other investments or who sold Dogecoin and, and lost money and are just out of this speculative uh, meme coin space. Like I said, I bought this, I bought a million of these uh, about six weeks ago. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy some more in the near future. Uh, I'm very curious to see if it does follow that same rise because if it does go, you know, from the, the way Dogecoin went from half a penny to 50 cents, uh, that's a 100x rise. And so if from this point when it hits Robinhood, let's say it's at point, you know, zero, 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 four, we'll just say four zeros. We'll say it's four zero um, five and it raises a hundred times. It'll be a half a penny. Uh, is that reasonable? I don't know. That, that, that's following the same trends as Dogecoin, which again, you can't, it isn't apples to apples. They're entirely different in a lot of ways. Again, not an expert in this area, just I'm trying to interpret what I see people on YouTube, on social media, uh, talking about the way they're relaying the information, the way that, you know, news outlets like Bloomberg or uh, the more cryptocurrency uh, face niche outlets are writing about this. They're all, I would say, cautiously optimistic. This, and I think that's mostly in part because of what we saw with Dogecoin uh, and these, just to a greater extent, the really crazy price increases we've seen in cryptocurrency across the board over the past few years. What do you think? Are you going to buy Shiba Inu? I'll link below if you want to buy some on Weeble or Coinbase or for that matter, by the time I'm sure this video you know, goes live or at least a few months afterwards, it's going to be on public and, 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 uh, and Robinhood. So I'll link to all those places if you want to buy some. Uh, I told you I bought a million of them. You know, I'm going to hold on to that. I, I here, Here's what I'll say. What I'm thinking right now is I'm going to hold until it hits uh, a tenth of a penny. If I can do that, if I can hit a tenth of a penny, I would consider that uh, a miracle probably. Uh, miracles happen all the time. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a crazy world. But um, that's just like my, my the number I'm putting out that I would be okay with exiting at because obviously you're not making the money unless you sell the stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like content like this, please let me know in the comments below uh, and I'll see you later.